What is going on guys, Marshall one here and I'm back for some more action in Contract Wars. Well, today I'll be playing with SC-58 and of course the weapon task is include and maybe another time I will do a video where I'll be playing with iron sights on this weapon because I've seen so many of you are curious to see how I'm playing with that but believe me this weapon without weapon task is really bad and I'm really doing my best to avoid to play uh, like that and I believe whoever of you try to play with this weapon he said at least few times I can't wait to task this god's damn weapon well I believe it's the truth but uh, with weapon task this weapon changed dramatically and it's far away better it's so accurate and of course you know it's easier to aim with red dot anyway for those guys who are curious or don't know statistics of this weapon well you may check it on your screen and enjoy it's much easier to see than to talk anyway you seen for a second I'm using a desert eagle huh what you think about it I believe it's really sexy and I like this delta point really a lot I see they are camping down there, doing wire things and so on. But anyway, guys, uh, don't forget that you have uh, high discounts these days. I believe they are still present, they are still there. So, if you want to buy a nice weapon, well, check this video and decide what you think uh, after it about this weapon. But I really recommend you, anyway, if weapon task is still... 60 storm kills well don't be afraid of that because you can do it with this weapon and I've seen that you are asking for advices how to do a storm kill so if you are watching this video believe me storm kill is nothing it's so easy and you may want to play maps that are not uh, full of bushes forest and so on so I recommend you to try maybe site or maybe terminal 2 all sawmill interchange something where people cannot camp in bushes and kill you with shotgun of course but uh, oh they are down there uh, but if you are in hurry to do a storm kill and things like that it will be the most easiest part to jump on VIP because you will have way more health and it will be much easier because you can stay somewhere in the corner, camp if you like. And you know that most of the times those guys will be rushing on you to kill you. So it's really simple. So try to play maps that you know where people cannot hide. Try to be VIP. Oh, come on, come on. And of course, the uh, trick is also in finding a nice team because if you stack with bunch of noobs have in mind they will spawn trap you and probably you won't be able to do your storm kill also have in mind if you stack with pro players and you need a lot of time to finish your storm kill while well, have in mind that you will really struggle to do few kills because those guys will rush and kill everything in front of you so balance is really important but most of the time you can do it it's not that hard it's really simple but you you need only to know well the map and know how to move where to go and things like that but you see from forest it's really hard to play because they are camping but oh triple kill but where you know, when you know where the spawn spots will be, it's way easier. And all you need to do is blind shot. If you kill one, there could be a chance that there are more of them. So try it. But anyway, if you think this weapon is not uh, for you and you want me to recommend you more guns, whew, that will be harder then because I have really a lot of favorite weapons. Don't forget you have MDR, you have SA-58, DTSRS, SKS. For those guys who are curious they can use um, AEC, AK-12, 
Hmm, maybe N94 for those guys who wanna spend the GP. I'm breaking it. Then you have TKPD Storm Carabin from Weapon Set 1. You have Orsis for those guys who like snipers and there are so many nice weapons guys. Believe me, if you can simply try them all. I mean, at least those CR weapons, you will be amazed how good they are. Believe me. Oh, I, I knew, I, I knew, I, I hear someone, but I'm just not sure who is that. Because I'm talking way too much, and these days I seen that not so many people are playing Contra Force. I mean, it's empty. It's far way more empty than it was before just two weeks. So I'm not sure why and what is happening, maybe because of summer people are on vacation, having fun with friends outside and so on, but I've seen even on my page that not so many, oops, oh come on, that not so many people are following anymore my page or channel and I believe they simply got sick of this game. And I've seen that few guys spamming like there are no hackers in Contract Force. I mean, please. If you think there are no hackers, no problems, no anything, well, probably you're not even playing this game. And I must admit it's the one of the best, best, best free FPS games, browser games. And you can do so many things here for free. And I hope we will not say it was a good game, because I hope, I really hope that this one will continue to live and the developers will fix major bugs so we can continue, continue to play this one. And at the moment I'm a little bit scared because I'm not sure really what's happening but before a few days you could notice a post on my screen uh, on my page where I explained that developers are working on wiki they've been fixing some problems and that's what gave me a strength to believe that everything will be fine with contract force and I really believe they will move this game to another browser because by the time uh, even Mozilla Firefox and Yandex will stop supporting uh, Contract Force so they will have to choose a new browser and if it's true what I heard on new browser you won't be able to hack at all so let's hope it's true guys but only time will show if true or not and only time will show what will happen to this game anyway if this dies, I hope Contract War Standalone will come out because a lot of my new subscribers and all subscribers are the people who like Contract Force and they are only here to watch my Contract Force daily videos. But as I said and as you could notice, I already started to upload another games, another videos. Well, I will do that even more, you know, but my upload speed really is in shit if I can say it and it doesn't allow me to upload long videos because of really really bad upload speed but I'm still trying my best to upload it come out come out I hear you hiding sometimes oh there you go Take my knife, it's my gift to you. Sometimes I really have feeling that those guys know only to hide and nothing else. Just look at them. And this guy, the doggy, uh, I already made a lot of videos how he's doing a team kill on me. Oh, come on. And... I believe those guys... What the fuck, this guy is only killing me. And I believe those guys are like... Um, I don't watch your videos, but I know you are hacking. And he's... 
killing everyone, team killing people and spamming, they are using hacks but he simply he won't stop it just because he's god damn bad he's saying everyone else is hacking so I, I, I believe this guy is like okay you are playing better than me now I will team kill you, I will team kill you and I will team kill you until you decide to leave so I can play free but I never left I let him because I see how much he's stupid and at the end you will be able to see his score. I'm sorry for being like this, but since he is a douchebag and a one big asshole to me, why not to mention his name? Because he's already stupid, he's not even watching those videos or understanding what I'm saying. I think he's Romanian, so if someone... Oh, I'm sorry. If someone sees him in game hack the doggy level 67 and someone of you is Romanian just tell him to stop doing stupid team kills anyway you see 612 he have anyway I hope you guys really had fun watching my today's videos so you can say what you think about SA58 and I will be happy to hear your opinions anyway thanks for watching and see you again really soon bye bye